Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you three simple steps required to sketch any linear or straight line absolute functions. Step number one, using this example question, we are first going to find the vertex. The vertex is actually the minimum or maximum point on the modulus graph, something like you see in these examples. In order to get the vertex, identify the modulus or absolute signs first. Now, let whatever statements within the signs be a zero. In this case, we are trying to get the value of x, which is 3. So when x is equal to 3, the value of y, when you substitute it back into the equation, is equal to 0 for this case. Therefore, the vertex is at point 3, 0. Now coming on to step number 2, find the y-intercept or the point where the graph cuts the y-axis. In your working, you could write for the y-intercept when x is equals to 0, y is equals to 2 modulus minus 3, and this will give us a value of 6. Now in the last step, it's about the domain. Let's try to identify how far to the left and how far to the right the graph will extend. So let's use the extreme ends of the domain to help us. So for this domain, when x is equals to minus 2, y is equals to 2 multiplied by minus 5 modulus, it's equals to 10. And when x is equals to 5, y is equals to 2 multiplied by modulus 2, which is equals to 4. Now with all these information, we are then ready to sketch the graph in less than a minute. So let's draw the axis first. Next, accordingly to what you have written, indicate the vertex and the y-intercept. Draw a line passing through these two points. But just how far left should we draw? Now look at the extreme left domain here. It starts from x equals to minus 2 inclusive. So we could draw the line till this point and label it. Similarly, the graph stops at x equals to 5 and y equals to 4 on the right, so we can extend it to the right as such, and always label your points. Now put a circle dot to indicate that the graph includes the values of x equals to minus 2 and 5 respectively. If this is a less than sign, you can put a circle to indicate that it is not inclusive. So there you have it, let's label the graph to answer to the question. Now before we move on to the next example, do remember to subscribe to this channel to see more valuable content such as this. Now moving on to the next example, now let's repeat the exact same three steps to sketch this particular graph. Now remember, for the vertex, take the statements within, only within the modulus signs and equate it to zero. For this case, the value of x is equals to half, and when x is equals to half, be very careful over here, y is equals to minus modulus 0 plus 2, which is equals to 2, and the vertex is therefore half and 2. Now for the y-intercept, when x is equals to 0, y is equals to minus minus 1 modulus plus 2, and this gives us a value of 1. Now in the third step, remember it is about the domain. How far left or right is the graph going to extend? Now for this particular domain, when x is equals to minus 4, y is equals to minus, minus 8, minus 1, plus 2, and this gives us a value of minus 7. When x is equals to 4, y is equals to minus 8 minus 1 modulus plus 2, and this gives us a value of minus 5. Now let's try to sketch this particular graph again in less than a minute. Quickly plot the vertex and the y-intercept as such. Also, indicate the points of the extreme ends of the graphs, which is minus 4, minus 7, and 4, minus 5. Now complete the graph by labeling it, which is y equals to minus 2x minus 1 plus 2. Now before we end, if there are no domains given to you in the question, you can simply extend the lines to the left and right as far as you could go. Now you realize that not all graphs gives a nice V shape. Now be very careful here. This is an inverted V shape because there is a negative sign in front of the modulus. Now do check out the free downloadable questions and worked answers linked in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching this video.